Okay, this is a trade I'm in on the yen, and it's a five minute binary. And I have the 107.61 strike. Price is currently at 107.62.3. So we'll have to see if it gets down here. It does have about four minutes left. Now remember on the sell side, you only have to be equal to 61. Now I did set a target on this one at 20. Um, you can see it here. For some reason the uh, P&L on the live accounts is not working right now. I'm not really sure why. And right now price is at 27. It jumps around a lot and you really do want to make sure that you're out of this uh, within the, the last 30 seconds. You can see the current market is at 39. A lot of times I'll go ahead and open this window up because I may decide to exit early. You know, is it worth holding for X amount of dollars? Is really what it comes down to. Um, I don't like that this is overextended right now. So, I'm going to see if I can get 30 even. And of course I open it back up because if I say I can't, uh, I may try to get out earlier than that. Let's do 31. It seems to be hitting 31. Sometimes it's playing around with it. And as you can see, 31 got hit. Now, the entry on that was uh, right at 85. So that one trade was worth about 55. And again, that's on a five minute binary. The, the market's actually moving pretty good this morning. This is just one thing I wanted to show you. You can see there's no bid or offers on this. It has seven seconds left. Uh, if you're in that last 30 seconds, they do what I call a lockup, where you can't get out of it even if you were in profit. And this is a good example of this was a good trade, but this may close above the strike at 61. It closed at 61.1. Okay. And that means that you would have lost on a very profitable binary simply because you wanted all. Okay. I don't want all. I just want to make a profit. And that's real important to understand that concept. Okay. On this one, I got it for $15. You can see that it's come back to try to test this top. It was not able to. They rejected it. Um, the only one that had risk that I felt comfortable with was the 2539 strike. So that's where I went in at $15 of risk. Um, you can see that here. I did not like the risk on the other ones. Um, because you have to remember, you can lose at any time. The market can simply pause. Um, it cannot move. There's so many things that can do on a five minute binary. Um, and in this case, I'm expecting it to come down. Okay. It doesn't mean it will. With all of these markets overextended, uh, I would expect it to come down, but sometimes it pauses and it just goes nowhere. Okay. And that's the reason, you know, I keep my risk very low on these. There's about three minutes left in this binary. And on this one, I did set a target at 25. Um, we'll have to see what it does. It's got about 1.8 pips to move in the next two minutes.
and this this is my strike is at uh, 125.37 um, it was just about $27 of risk on this one I'm expecting it to come back to the ATR over here so it's got about two minutes and 55 seconds left to move 1.7 pips actually I needed to move more than that um, I have not set a work in order on this yet um, I'm gonna wait and see what it does again right before it expires they will what I call lock it up and that simply means that either the offer would go to like 99 and you wouldn't get out of it or there will be no prices listed whatsoever so and this has about two minutes to get below this line um, As you can see, I've already opened this up so I can see what the prices are. And I'm focused on looking at this as well as this over here. I don't like that this is overextended. But the fact that it's heading down over on the uh, 5 minute is probably what will keep it down a little bit more. I'm trying to see if I can get 20 out of this. Um, there we're going to get 16.75 not as much profit as the first one but a profit nonetheless we don't argue with profits okay I just re-entered the British pound dollar at 31 it has three minutes and 31 seconds to move 1.5 pips. You can see we got the reversal bar right at the fast moving average over here. We'll see if it works out. You can see I had about $19 of risk on this one. It's just about two minutes and 40 seconds left in this binary I'm going to go ahead and set a target at 30 they seem to be hitting that number pretty good today and you can see the working order is at 30 right now the current market is at 48.75 do need this to come on down notice I'm not paying a lot of attention to uh, the stochastics on the one minute and the reason I'm not is <laughs> it's um, that thing can be oversold just on one bar so I would like this to stay down the the real essence was this reversal bar over on the five minute that's really what I'm trading. I just kind of make sure that it's still there over here. I am going to open up the uh, working orders because there's a minute. Oh, nope, got filled. Sorry. Um, so you can see that one was filled. So really a pretty good morning to be trading the five minute binaries. You do have to have some patience. Um, this video has been running for about uh, 60 minutes and you can see I'm only risking a very small amount of money so that my reward is actually skewed in my favor now I do show you how to do this using the trading view indicators that I've designed um, and I do have coaching sessions it's a package deal you get the trading view indicators and the coaching sessions which I don't care whether I'm trading five minute binaries two hour binaries touch brackets or even uh, 
the futures, the actual futures. Um, I use the same methodology, and you see me updating my lines and all this is stuff. I teach you how to do in the coaching sessions as well as, hey, you need to exit early, you need to take profits, and other tips for trading the markets, regardless of whether you're trading binary options or you're trading the underlying or you're trading touch brackets. It's all the same. It's just a different mechanism to take a trade. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe uh, using the link below so that if I do another video, you'll be notified. Thanks and have a wonderful day.